I don't mind the picture that's going to be put up soon, so it's just resting on the sofa. But I've been to the Chinese supermarket, and as you can tell, I've did some damage. <laughs> so I went there, and luckily they had everything that I wanted to try, and like much more. But I just wanted to quickly show you. So I've got the Japanese style pork sausage. Looks like that. Pork soup dumplings, which I am so excited to try. To try. I mean, oh, they look so good. These rice cakes. Like the sauce to go with it. I've got like some like fried chicken, which looks really good. Some um, char su sliced pork, which I got for like the noodles and the ramen. I've got some more rice cakes, which are the sweet and spicy ones. And I've got two of those because I have a feeling I'm gonna like these. Hopefully, anyway. I got some strawberry flavored milk tea, which looks really good. Peach puree drink, which I just thought was kind of cute to try. Beef, is this beef? Yeah, beef flavored noodles, chicken ramen, which looks really good. And I got the carbonara version, the creamy carbonara version of those. Chimochi, other, which way around. But I love matcha so much, so I thought these would be really good. I've never had it with chocolate though. And I also got these in matcha flavour, which looked really nice. Can't wait to try those. And I got some sweets, which one is lychee and one is apple. And I thought they were quite good to try as well. Right, so we're in my kitchen again. And Tommy's just gone down for his nap. And I thought I'll try the first snack. So obviously I've got quite a few things. So I'm just going to try like things like over the next couple of days. But for the first thing i thought we could try these because i've been so excited to try these which is the rice cakes i'm really not good with spice so i'm hoping they're not like crazy spicy because honestly i'm a korma girl like i cannot handle any sort of spice see what it looks like and i'm guessing that's the sauce oh no that's no that's... <laughs> that says do not eat that's obviously the little crystals this is the sauce They look so strange. It kind of just smells like rice, to be honest. Like wet rice. Okay, how am I supposed to know how much 20 ml of water is? I'm guessing it's not going to be much. I'm guessing about that much. Well, that's probably way too much. I'm going to put a bit out. And the sauce. Wait, did it say the sauce too? Yeah. Really sweet. Okay, that's what it looks like so far. I can just give it a mix. First the lid. And that's going in there for three minutes. I just wanted to say that I don't know how to use chopsticks, but I'm going to try. And I'm probably going to be using a fork, so I'm really sorry that I'm using a fork because I know it's not like the traditional way of eating these snacks and stuff, but I'm going to try, but I doubt that I can do it. But I'm going to try. Should we try the strawberry flavoured milk tea? Uh, put all the sachets in the cup according to taste and pour 150ml of boiling water. Stir well, stir well and ready to serve. So I just got like, loads of bits in there. So we've got... Oh, it doesn't say what this is. This. Um, this is, I'm guessing, uh, yeah, the actual, like, tea flavour. So. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that smells really nice. That is so, like, mmm, that smells just like pure strawberry. Right, then this, whatever this is. Is this like the bubble? See, like that. Don't mind the noises. I'm not sure if I've actually meant to drain that or not. And then the sugar. I'm probably not going to put all of that in there because it is quite sweet. I'm probably going to just do... I'm just going to do half. Oh my gosh, that is so nice. That's really nice, I like that. That is so good. 
It's way too hot and I haven't had any of the bits yet, but so far, like that tea, the tea part is really nice. So these have just finished cooking. Okay. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Some cheese because I see quite a lot quite a lot of people like add cheese to it. Yeah. No, we're not allowed any milking. And then I might just Boy, does this actually look so good? You guys so you can see. I'll put you back where you was. That actually looks so good. I don't know if you can see. I don't know why I'm trying to use this. I don't have a clue how to use chopsticks. <laughs> Somebody tell me how to use these. Whew, that is spicy. I love the texture. A little bit too spicy for me, but because it is actually so nice, it's kind of like a spicy sweet and sour. That's what it tastes like, a spicy sweet and sour. And the cheese, it just like makes it so, oh, I just love that. It's actually a really nice snack. I could eat this a lot. Look at that cheese ball. That's really nice. I knew I'd like this. That's why I got another pack. spicy this probably isn't spicy to like most people but it's so spicy to me I how i feel about the weird bits in it to be honest i'm not i don't i'm not really like a fan of bits in my drink obviously i know some of you people like some people like that but i'm not really a fan of that so i would have preferred it without the thing so i shouldn't have just added those really but that drink is really nice too i can't use these i'm sorry a fork um, i apologize i just cannot use chopsticks i just can't do it i tried it's really nice <laughs> i'm so glad i finally tried it honestly my page on youtube was just full of like these korean rice cakes and i was dying to try these and i kept meaning to go to the shop <clears throat> it just hits the back of your throat just gonna try the pear puree drink. This one's really nice. Mmm, that's really different. Ah. Oh. It's like still, it's not like fizzy or anything. Yeah. That's really nice. I haven't tasted anything like that before. It's like really sweet. And it's just really sweet. It's, yeah, just like pear, pear juice. I've never like heard of try that before, but it's nice. Right, let's try the uh, chocolate matcha mochi. The matcha chocolate mochi. It's quite hard to say. Oh, thank God, they're individually wrapped. Oh, that's so cute. So it comes individually wrapped. That's cute. It doesn't really smell of anything. I think that's chocolate anyway. Is that red bean? I think it could be red bean. Yeah, I don't really like that. <clears throat> I don't really like that one. Um, I'm such a dick. It literally's got it's literally got a bowl of beans that's literally red bean paste or whatever it is. Why am I so stupid? And they had other flavors. They had like milk flavored. They had oh, I can't remember on the top of my head right now. But they had quite a few flavours, but because I like matcha quite a lot, I got matcha and I thought it was chocolate, but I was obviously stupid and it's red bean. This is a no for me. I would probably, I'd rate these 
I literally finished these, they were so nice. The rice cakes, I'd rate literally a 10 out of 10. Maybe 9 out of 10 because it's a bit too spicy for me, but that's just obviously personal. So 9 out of 10 just because I can't handle spice. These, I'd probably rate maybe 1 out of 10. And I don't even know why I'm saying 1, because I don't like it at all and I'm not going to eat this. That's a little bit of a... That kind of let me down a little bit, not gonna lie. Let's try these. The matcha or like, is it Oreo? Yeah. So it's Oreo crispy rolls matcha flavor. Let's try these. I've got such shaky hands. That's nice. Mmm. That's so much better. No, look, you're not allowed this either. It's chocolate. It's maybe like a 6 out of 10. The matcha, I can taste that it's matcha, but not so much. And I would have liked their, like the filling for there to be a bit more because it's pretty much like hollow. It would have been nicer for there to be like a bit of a more milkier matcha flavour, if that makes sense. Maybe it actually filled through the roll. That would have been actually really good. It's a bit later now. Um, it's half past seven. And I am a little bit hungry. A little bit peckish. So I thought we could try one of the noodles. Um, the ramen or whatever you call it. I really want to try this one. The creamy carbonara flavoured ones. We'll give those a go. And... Wait, how do I do it? Ah. Looks like I'm gonna everywhere, and you got two packets of the sauce, which I'm guessing obviously one is like the flavoring powder, and one is the sauce. I hope I'm doing this right. That's the plate, and then, <laughs> like you guys already know, I'm not good with spice at all. Okay. Gosh, that's not spicy. I'm just gonna literally put that. I'm not putting any more. Which is, I know it's literally a joke, but I'm really not good with spice, guys. I'm not joking. Give that a mix. Okay, that'll do. Let's put in that microwave for about two minutes. Right, so we got it out the microwave, it looks like that. Mind, obviously, it's not going to look like that for everybody because I've put like less than a quarter of my, um, of that spice sauce in there because I just hate spice and I'm just not good with spice. So everybody else is obviously going to be a bit darker. It's really hot. It's so hot, I'm scared. <sighs> That's what I mean, it's so spicy and I haven't had any in there. Let's try this apple drink. Guys, it's, it's like um, milk. I don't know if I want to drink that. Yep. No, thank you. That is not my kind of thing. It's literally like milk. It looks like... See? It's quite thick as well. And I don't really like a thick drink. Um, lemonade will do. It's, it's too spicy. How do people eat this and they put the whole packet in there? Gosh, I'm struggling. The noodles kind of remind me, like if you're in the UK, like pot noodle kind of noodles, like the nice and 
thick noodles. And the flavour is nice, like the, the carbonara flavour is nice, but it's way too spicy. And I've li literally, I've got all of this sauce left. You can see that I've put hardly any in there. That's crazy. I can't even imagine what it would be like with the full, with the full um, pack of sauce in it. So with the spice level and like it being quite spicy, I'd probably rate it like a three. And if it wasn't as spicy, then I'd probably rate it like a four point five because it, like I said, the noodles are nice and the flavour's nice, but just it's way too spicy, and I can't handle spice. So maybe I shouldn't be doing this video, like reviewing the spicy stuff, but. I'm just an absolute wuss with spice and that milk is, is that drink is a zero I can't <clears throat> excuse me that that drink is just a big no for me like it's just it kind of reminds me of medicine for some reason and I hate medicine so it's kind of giving me like thick white medicine vibes if that makes sense it's like completely random but that's why it's making me think and it's no it's just it's making me feel a bit sicky inside so that drink is a zero so yeah that's it so far right. let's try the light chin flavored ones these ones i think i already showed these earlier is it focusing let's give these a go please don't mind my mismatched loungewear this is literally what i told you like i've literally got pink joggers on a green vest top and my um, dressing gown on what do you even look like little gummies very strong of light chin and smell that I'm not sure if it's just because I've had so much spice in my mouth. Mm. Don't. What's that noise? It's not my door over it. It's all like, I think they might be putting some pictures up or something. But guys, always make sure you lock your doors because my door was just unlocked and I always have it locked. I'll see you tomorrow with the rest of the snacks. Right, so it's the next day now and I am going to have some lunch. Um, it's nearly two o'clock. I've just put Tommy down about an hour ago and I just cleaned up the kitchen so I can actually like cook in peace. And I'm going to make the rice cakes um, that are good with cheese, these ones, and I thought they looked so good. I obviously really liked those ones yesterday. So I know I'm obviously going to like these, and especially when they're filled with mozzarella cheese. Um, I've got the sauce that goes with it, which looks like that. And I've also got the Japanese uh, pork sausage to try with it, which I'm not sure if this is like the one that they usually have like with it, but I thought I'll just put that in there with it as well, just to try. Um, the only thing I'm worried about is if I can cook this from frozen. It doesn't say anything on the packet, but I think I'm just going to pan fry it from frozen. I'm not even sure if you can or not, but oh well. And I'm going to, yeah, how much am I gonna eat? Hopefully I don't die of food poisoning. How is everyone? Um, is everybody good? I feel like I've been a bit in a weird mood. If you're a girl, you know what I mean. But I really struggle at this time, like with my moods. And I just feel like I just feel like I have like no motivation to do anything, and I just don't want to do anything. And I just want to eat everything in sight, and I just want to lay in bed or on my sofa and watch TV. That is literally all I want to do when I'm in this kind of mood. And um, oh, just checking my camera's right. Yeah. So I'm excited to eat this. And yeah, and then also another thing I wanted to say is um, that my channel's actually doing well. I think it's doing really well, and I'm proud of it. Anyway, I'm nearly on a hundred subscribers. I think I'm currently on eighty-nine. We started in January, so I'm really proud of myself because, like, I don't know, like I'm building something myself, and it's something I'm really proud of. I'm kind of scared. I might just put like the lid on it for a bit because it's like popping a lot. Okay, and then these. Do I make the whole pack? I don't know if I can eat the whole pack. 
So it says, rinse the rice cakes in cold water for about five minutes. Cook the rice cake in boiling water for three minutes. Take the rice cake out of the water and stir fry with your favorite sauce or your fav or your vegetable or meat. Yeah, I'll eat that. So I'm put them in the bowl and I'm gonna put some water in there. I know it's gonna be quite a good one. It's a fish thing, just so it's um, got a bit more flavour, I guess. I hope that's enough water. It doesn't say, it just says add some water. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking that's fine. And then I'll add the rice cakes. Yep, yeah, that's ultra spicy. Oh my god. Huh? How do people eat this? I might add a bit of brown sugar. I don't know if I'm doing this right. And those are the sausages. I think they look pretty good actually. We'll see. I think I'm also going to add the sausages in there now. So we're going to the top, I think. Show you what that looks like. That actually looks pretty good. But like I said, I know it's going to be spicy. Doesn't that look good though? Gosh, there's a load of cheese. It's cooled down a little bit now. Even though the bowl's really hot. Try the top one. I'm so excited to try this, but I'm so scared because I know, I know it's going to be spicy. That is so good. Yeah, and the spice just hits you in the back of the neck. Back of the throat, shall I say. I wonder if I can make like this sauce but not a spicy if that makes sense. If anybody knows please let me know because I would love that. Just literally like this meal but not the spice. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Can you see the cheese? It's like the cheese in the middle. Alright let's try the sausage. Mm. It's really good. The verdict of that is that I really, really actually enjoyed them. But I do, I'm just not going to be able to have, the, have it with the sauce. It's way too spicy. Way too spicy for me. But I must say that was a 10 out of 10. That is something that I'm going to be craving all the time. So when I go to that shop again, I'm going to buy it again. But I'm just not going to buy the sauce. I and mean, I'll just make like my own sauce. Right, so it's a lot later now. Um, it's currently 8 o'clock. I've just had a bath, which is why I look like hair grid. Don't mind my hair, I literally just brushed it and it's just really frizzy and yeah, just natural basically. I'm going to make some of that chicken on there. It says, it says microwave for one minute and 50 seconds. Yeah, as so if I'm going to microwave frozen chicken in the microwave for a minute. I'll probably end up dying after this meal. Oh, it's like, it's like battered. It looks really nice actually. Me. 
I don't trust this seven minutes. I don't really trust 10 minutes, but we'll see what it looks like in 10 minutes time. And I'm just gonna make my fries um, while I wait for that. And then I'll be back to show what the chicken looks like. I genuinely hope I'm not gonna die. What it looks like. I mean, it looks quite good. Let's put the chicken on. <laughs> there we go. Got my orange juice, and let's go sit down. Put the chicken then. Look at the way, will ya? I'm not sure this is good. I think it's just like the batter that it's in that's um got like this weird texture. It's okay, it's nothing like revolutionary. It's um it's crispy on the outside and it's a bit squidgy like on the inside. Kind of like chicken balls from the Chinese. Which like I can only have like one or two because they get a bit sickly. That's what it kind of tastes like, pretty much exactly the same texture to that. So I'm just gonna sit here and eat my dinner and I'm gonna watch some damsel on Netflix. I'm just filming on my phone, update on the chicken. I didn't actually end up eating it because... Really? You're not allowed it, okay. Excuse the film in the background, but I was way too scared to eat it just in case it's not cooked properly and, I'm, and I'll end up getting food poisoning. So I didn't eat it, but... Yeah, I was just too scared to eat it. I'm not risking having food poison. Okay. So yeah, see you tomorrow guys. Right, so it's the next day now and today for lunch I'm going to make some of that beef ramen, which is this one here, that one there. And I think what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to make this and I might also add some of the rice cakes in it. I also want to make that char siu pork with it, which I can get out now, which should have defrosted overnight. Yeah. So it's kind of like slices of like bacon, I guess. And um, I guess do you cook it like the same, like that? I'm not really sure. So that, and I think I might also cook like a nice fried egg on top. I think that would be quite nice. I don't unfortunately have like any veg, like any green onion and stuff to put on top. So it's going to be without any veg, but I still think it's going to be nice. And we're going to put some cheese on top as well. So I'm really excited to try this actually. So you get three packets in there. And then you get the noodles, which isn't actually quite, is that? I don't know, maybe it's just me. So I'm just going to boil the kettle so it's hot. So if you can see like dog hair on my jam bed and excuse it because you guys know I have Loki and it's literally impossible to have anything that's black that hasn't got any dog hair on it. Is my lens dirty again? I'm guessing that's just pretty much cooked like a slice of bacon kind of thing. Oh. I'm just going to taste this just in case it's spicy. Yeah. Um, it doesn't taste very spicy actually. So I'm just going to add like a bit of that. I'm not sure which one it is that's going to be spicy. What's in there? Little veggies. Or is this like chili? Yeah, this is the spice packet. I, I'm not going to put that in there. I might just add the tiniest bit. The rice cakes too. I'm going to cook that two minutes in the microwave. That's what it looks like. It looks quite nice actually. Uh. 
Right, let me show you what that looks like. That's what the um, char siu looks like. I've got my fried egg and I've got my noodles and some of the rice cakes. So I forgot to add the cheese, so I just quickly added some cheese and just put it in the microwave for a few minutes just so the cheese would melt. But it looks so good. I'm so excited to try this though. Again, I apologize if I've made it wrong. It's really good. I imagine this is going to be extremely filling with all of this on top as well. Um, I think this is it so far. I think I've got the buns, um, the soup dumplings left. So I'm going to finish this and then I'll be back with the soup dumplings. So I'll see you with the dumplings if I make them today. I'm just filming on my phone because I just really wanted to try the apple version of the, um, the sweets. So I'm going to give that a go now. The light shoe ones, but green. Just like apple, kind of like a Haribo kind of thing. I'm not really a fan of like crazy sweet, sweet. And that's just a tiny bit too like sweet, like sickly sweet. Right? Someone should eating his little crisps. Nice. Right? <laughs> but yeah, I did. I just didn't want to not record me trying it. Right, so I'm back today, it's a new day, um, and today I am going to be making the soup dumplings. So as you can tell, I've already had these and I filmed it, but my camera wasn't recording. So I'm doing it again today. Um, I haven't got a steamer, so what I did was I just used a little pan and I put some baking paper on top of the tiny bit of water that I've already put in and just hoping it will kind of steam up with a lid in there. It, it worked last time I did it fine, so... I know it'll work and like I said I've already had these so I know that they're nice but I just wanted to show you guys what they look like and I'm gonna put the lids on but yeah I know I haven't got the right size lid but it, it, didn't, it just came with one lid and it didn't come with a small lid so that's what I'm using and I'm just gonna cook those for like 10 minutes so I'll be back in 10 minutes right so my time is nearly done we got 43 seconds and they, I think they look cooked. Oh, hopefully they haven't stuck to the bottom. I just want to have a bite where the soup is still in the dumpling. Right, there we go, that was fine. Why did it just break last minute? That's what they look like. All right, let's try this. Oh no. Am I maybe supposed to eat this with a spoon? These are really nice. Mm, mm, mm. They're just so satisfying to eat like with the soup inside. And the meat is really flavorful. No, he doesn't know who to come to, the meal Tommy. It's really good. That was everything for my video. I've tried all of the snacks and all of the foods. I hope you enjoyed. My favorite probably was the soup dumplings. They were really nice. I'm definitely gonna get those again. And the rice cakes. I'm definitely gonna get the rice cakes without the sauce because that sauce was absolutely, absolutely hot. It was so hot. But the ones in the, like, the ones in the instant packet they were hot but they were still manageable um but the cheese ones were so good so i'm just going to try and find like a recipe that makes the sauce not spicy thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in my next video bye